Konami and Atlas bring to you Hell Knight on the PlayStation 1. It's a hard game that was never released in the U.S. I might want to raise the volume a bit. took place in an ordinary subway. A subway accident that took the lives of 56 people. The number of survivors still remains unknown. You were involved in an accident. What you see is a gruesome scene with blood and rubble. You're scared Lurking darkness of the surface of the Harbor. Tokyo Mission alerts. You're going to have to be in the war. Now occupied by menacing underground and resident of service. They were in the main character. He's friends with someone who checks friends Tokyo Mesh. Finally, he searched for the way through the past. We're going to do something for service. On Tokyo Mesh, another world. We're in the troubles of men and South Pacific. You don't have any means of offense. Attack you in the personal run. Fire his partner's life. You're in the gateway. How you lose your advantage with fate. You're running through the darkness. Get away with it. You run through the night. Was running to the other end. His life is death. Remember, my heart is about to begin. It's Hell Knight. Push start. We're going to do that. From Atlas 1999. Show me the options, Hell Knight. What options do you have? POV. Do you want to shake or not shake? The default is shake. Vibration? Sure, let's vibrate. Language? English, German, or French. We'll st stick with the English. This is the European version, so we do have uh, different languages here. Um, yeah, Hell Knight. Japanese, European release. No North American release, so this is the Euro version. Let's just get started and see what it's about. We're trying this out for an hour, and this is a game that I've seen a little bit here and there. I've been, tr I've been interested in trying it out, so I'm... We'll see how this goes. Oh, hold on, I think it's going back to the attract mode. <laughs> Splat! The research facility in Ichigaya. Second lab laboratory for special research.
a cult which is called Holy Ring. Series of mis missing incidences at subway stations. These two things are getting people's attention these days. Tokyo. Repent all, your world is coming to an end, says Akala. It has been foretold that your world will end with the millennium. All shall be cast down and disappear into darkness. Again, those guys? There he is. That way. Are we being chased by acolytes? Chased us into the subway? Why are they kept following me? Oh, he hell knighted. Eek! Gasp! Alright, a guy got hit on the tracks and then hell knighted. And now it's hell knighting all over those guys. Now we're in the maintenance room. It's still coming. Isn't there any way to get away from it? Young girl is asking me, what am I standing around for? We've got to hurry. All right, let's look around. There's crowbar. It's a crowbar. It might come in handy. I found it. There's a jumble of iron plates and equipment stacked up inside. There's something in- it's a compass! I found a compass. Lock with a padlock. There's probably something important behind it. I wonder if we can't get this open somehow. Uh, let's see, do I have an inventory? Where do you think you're going? That thing's still out there! She's right. It's probably not a good idea to leave right now. Okay, there's my inventory. I use the crowbar to smash the lock. A flight of stairs leads down into the darkness. Alright, into the hole. I guess there's only one way to go. Down. Let's hurry. If we hang around too long, that thing will find us. So we just, we're just like in it right away. We were on the subway, everything was fine. And then this one guy becomes a monster. Do I want to save? Yeah, we should probably save. This one guy becomes a monster. And then he kills everyone on the train. And then we meet like some sort of umbrella task force. And the monster kills all of them. I already saved. Monster kills all of them and is chasing us. And we don't know each other. I, I don't know who my protagonist is, but we are with young girl in the underground sewer. 
What's that smell? We must be in a sewer or something. If we could just find some stairs or something to get back to the surface. What? What was that thing chasing us? And those soldiers? What were they going to do with us? I'm sorry. You probably don't know any more than I do, right? Um, my name is Naomi Sugiara. I was out with some friends and we lost track of time. And then, then this happened. I don't know. It's all like something out of a nightmare, you know? A hell nightmare? None of it seems real, like it shouldn't be happening. Ah, <sighs> We've got to find a way back to the surface. Alright, we're moving. So, this is a first-person game. We can move around. I have a map. I can talk to her. We're in a sewer, right? We sure are. We can pause. Here are the settings. Maybe we can just go back to the game. All right. Let's find a way out of these sewers. It's a good thing we have this compass. Well, we're in, we're in a maze, so... Oh, yes, Naomi. What's this? It's got this weird-looking mark on it. Kind of creepy, if you ask me. I found an iron card. This mark. What is it supposed to be? I don't like this. It frightens me somehow. Well, let's keep to the left, since we're going through a maze. Hug the left wall. Into the water. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. All right, I guess we can't go through that. Huh? Wait a minute. We've got to get out of here. It's coming. It's coming after us. It's behind us. Well, not the most graceful of entry. Oh, he's he's fast. No, Naomi. Oh, but, okay, I'm still alive though. That's interesting. That is what does the companion like represent? A shield? If the monster gets us, <laughs> he kills the companion and then kills me. I mean, I don't have anyone to talk to. Yeah, I'm all alone now. I don't have anyone to talk to. I mean, I, I can't just leave Naomi behind. Is he, is he, like, walking after me in real time? How does this work? Yeah, he's, okay, he's much slower this time. Like, he ran, at, he ran right at me the first time. Smack. Right. So, okay, the companion is a shield. You can get- you can take two hits. Your companion dies in the first one. But if the companion dies, I mean, we don't have anyone to talk to. We're just- we're alone now. We're on our own. We don't want that. It's lonely in the sewers. We- we, we need to have our friend. Hell night. All right, so no gawking at the monster, because it, it might just come running at us. Oh, 
Okay, actually, we have a run button. Noom. We find the card. What happens if we go this way? Okay, that's just a dead end. Well, at least we fill out the map. Oh, I have a heartbeat. So maybe if I run too much, like I have a- maybe I have an invisible stamina meter. Gotta save my running. Right, here it comes. Here it's breathing, fading into the background. Is this a thing? Doesn't seem like we can interact with it. But I would guess that we can't just hang around any one place for a while, because it's probably always coming after us. Even if it might be slow. Maybe if we hide in here, it won't find us. I mean, I, I guess, but it's also a dead end. Yeah, the map says it's a dead end. Can I close the door? Doesn't seem like I can close the door. It's not much of a hiding place if the door stays open, is it? There's a switch. I do want to pull it. Electricity, huh? Ouch! The cable's fallen into the water and is leaking current. We won't be able to go any further this way. We've got to get out of the water. Maybe if we could find the circuit breaker, we could shut off the current. Sounds like a plan. You know, so far the with the first-person perspective and the PS1 graphics and the um, the low atmospheric sound, it kind of makes me like gives me like Echo Night vibes. Though, of course, we are being actively pursued by a monster, and there's no ghosts to, uh, to talk to, so... You know, not quite the same, but... Wait! There, around the corner. It's waiting for us. It's holding its breath, waiting for us to come so it can surprise us. Yeah? Well, yeah, I can hear it breathing. And it, I mean, there are other ways we could try. Oh, you can see it on the map. It's a glowing dot. See, it is around the corner. Is it just going to stay there? Unless I come around? Okay, I can't see it on there anymore. Maybe if I hear it's breathing, I can see it on the map? A room. Maintenance room. Okay, I guess when I'm in, like, a room, I get this interface, and then when I'm out in, like, the hallways, it's free motion. It's locked! Wonder where the key is. Alright, I found a key. What? There are no more locks. What? Everything's covered in dust. Doesn't look like anyone's been here for a long time. Alright, I got that key. Why did this have to happen to me? Oh, I can see it on the map there. It's coming round. Well, 
Well, that means it's not in the location it was before. There's a light coating of dust. Mm -hmm. Smell of oil is heavy in the air. Uh huh? The pipes are flecked with brownish stains. It looks like... It's blood! What happened in here? I'll be examining this. Nothing else to look at. I don't think any of my items would be u useful with blood. Can't be used here. Um... And there's nothing else to look at. Alright, well, alright, there's a room with blood in it. Nothing else, though. It seems. Oh, wait, the red dot means a dead end. Okay. Not that the monster's here. The monster was a glowing dot. It was a strobing color. Um... Which means it might... Yes. I want to go home, says Naomi. That means that it might just be in the same place it was before. Holding its breath for us. Is this a dead end? Yeah, that's a dead end. Let's just mark that on the map. All right, so the red dots are doors. Dead ends are just regular wall. Monster will be glowing. There are some other paths on the west, uh, northwest side of the map I didn't take. I guess we could go back there and see if it's anything. Oh, wait. I hear the guy. Yeah, I guess he's moved a little. It's like he's to my right, I guess. No problem. I use this. I use that key. I hear a low humming sound, as if a generator. Is, right, we have to turn off the generator because of electricity blocking the water. Switchboard. A lever. I set it to off. I don't need items. Alright, so hopefully that does what we needed to do. Ah. Please. Please, somebody help us. All right, so he continues moving around when I'm in a room. Is this a loop? Is this going to be a loop? It is, yeah, that's a loop. I mean, a loop is useful. It's handy. To evade him. So he's going down there. We want to find that that uh, those electric wires in the water. Here it is. All right, we got past that. I hear his breathing. Okay, uh, he's he's not in this hallway. I, I'm wondering if he can teleport because uh, you know, or does he? Is it fair? Does he manually walk everywhere? Can he not pass through walls? There's a large pile of junk blocking the pathway. Gap between the rubble. Might be big enough to squeeze through. I can't see what's on the other side, though. Do I want to go through? Uh, let's look around this hallway a bit more. No, not items. Don't need items. Not that. Is there anything over here? No. <clears throat> 
Um, I don't know if there's anything in the northwest part of here. There's, like, hallways we haven't gone down. Those might just be dead ends? I don't know. Well, let's see what's on the other side of this gap. It's a cutscene on the other side. ここ <laughs> oh, a dark under Tokyo. Beneath the Tokyo we all know, there's a secret one. So is the monster continuing to chase us, or is he staying in the sewers? What's happening? What was that sound? It sounded like an explosion. Tokyo Mesh first floor, southwest area. I can't go back. I never imagined there was a place like this underneath Tokyo. Alright, let's explore. Is this going to be like a hallway type map? Okay, it looks like there might be some larger areas. And of course, the question is, is Monster chasing us? Oh, hello. What? what was that? An invasion? Sounds like somebody dropped some kind of bomb. But if that's true, who's attacking? And where? It's a good question. Uh, yeah. Don't do that! You scared me half to death jumping out at us like that. Is he with us now? What is this place? No, he's not talking to us. Oh, hello. That siren a few minutes ago. It probably means that the mesh has gone into emergency mode and is locked down. In other words, well, the mesh was originally designed as an underground city by the military, see? So if the emergency mode is activated, it means the intruder alarm and removal defensive systems have been turned on. Which means? Which means we're all in a lot of trouble. None of us know anything about the security systems. The system will think we're invaders, too. And that means... that means... we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Just like bug snacks. <laughs> it's the end. We're gonna die. <laughs> and, and so forth. Oh. I can press down the L1 trigger to like quickly turn around. But I, I let go. And I whip back. So I'm not really turning around. It's more like I'm whipping my head around to look back. And I can also use L1 and R1 to strafe. R2. R2 doesn't seem to be doing anything. But I guess I could check to see if it's mapped correctly. All 
Right, so the problem this time round might be the automated defense system. If we meet any uh any robots or perhaps automated guns. Wait. Stop. Don't go any further. There's something something horrible waiting there. I mean, I'll take your advice. Let's look around a bit more before we we risk the something awful. Locked. What am I supposed to do now? Maybe our... No. Okay, I don't think I can access my inventory from this screen. If I'm in, like, a room, I can. But if I'm in the hallways, I can't. I guess it would just automatically use the key if I had the, the right key. There's nothing... Hmm. There we go. It took a little bit for it to acknowledge it. There we go. Residential area. Nothing out of the ordinary in this room. Are we just leaving? Yeah, okay, we don't care about that room. Just kick me out. Residential. Dismantled machine. Someone's disassembled a radio or similar device. I'll take this. Come on now, someone lives here. We shouldn't just rob their room. Like, presumably someone's going to come back here and wonder where their screwdriver is. Yeah, that's the way I came from. Nothing here. We are disgusted by your quarters. You have nothing for us. Nothing of value. Not even worth looking at. So the story is a little unclear at the moment. There was Subway Monster, who was a guy who got hit by the train, and then he turned into Hell Knight. Uh, and then we found the underground Tokyo underneath the the main Tokyo, with which is equipped with automated defense systems. I'm sure it'll all tie together. Hello, Sergeant. Hey, you there. You've come at just the right time. I'm Sergeant Okabe, attached to the 13th Engineering Division, assigned to the Underground Capital Construction Division. A ten hut! Whoa! Who's this old? He just told us. He just told us who he is. He looks like he's missing a few screws. Could he be dangerous? What are you standing around for? The enemy has invaded the underground capital. This is no time to be loafing. I have to ask you to take on a mission of the highest importance. Here's what I need you to do. General Yamada has entrusted me with some important secret documents. I want you to take them and ensure they don't fall into the hands of the enemy. I have guarded these documents for many, many years, from before you were born. But now, I'm old. Uh, to tell the truth, just between you and me, I'm tired. But never mind that. My spirit may be strong, but my body is old. I can't be certain I can protect these documents should I come face to face with the enemy. That's why I want someone like you, a strong, healthy young officer, to take these documents and guard them with your life if necessary. Here, take them. How old is he supposed to be? He doesn't strike me as that old. I got the important documents. Remember, those documents must not fall into enemy hands. I mean, if he w if he looked older, then I would I would wonder is 
are they saying is like the idea here is that he's a World War II soldier who doesn't know the war is over? He doesn't look that old. I can't actually examine the items. I, I, I just can't use it here. Nothing here. That's locked. What am I supposed to do now? Well, we're on a mission now. We have an important mission to, you know, supply the documents to wherever they need to go. I mean, as for what these documents might be, like I said, I don't know because we can't read them. We don't know what the juicy details are. Uh, hello, Mr. Businessman. Appraisal Mall. What's this? What's this? You look like a man who collects things of value. As a member of the Tokyo Mesh Fine Arts Appraisal Society, I, Mole, would be willing to appraise them for you. Free of charge. What do you say? Why don't you show me what you have? All right, um, I have important documents. <laughs> These look like important documents of some kind. See here? They're old Imperial Army documents. Hmm, there's also some kind of aura around him. I'm getting goosebumps just touching him. Where did you find these? Well, your neighbor had them. Never mind. I don't need to know. If I were you, I would get rid of these as soon as possible. Oh, uh, how do I get rid of them? How do I make these documents work for me? How do I trade them for money or crypto? What about this crowbar? Ho ho, this is a very nice crowbar you have here. Equally suited for smashing things or for use as a weapon. Well, we have not actually fought anything. We, like, we haven't been able to fight. Notice the pointed tip here. This would be perfect for breaking locks or opening crates. I'm envious. That's a very fine piece of work you got there. Is this a hint of what I could possibly use the crowbar for? Oh, actually, I didn't mean to do that. Like, is he telling me what I can actually use my items for? As far as the documents go, he just said I need to get rid of them as soon as possible. Oh, what's this? A card! And with the symbol of the Holy Ring on it! That means this is one of their ID cards. I bet if you use this, you can go anywhere they can. Now that I think about it, I've seen people holding these cards going into the information terminals. Okay, information terminal. I can go anywhere they can. Good thing we picked this up. What is this? It appears to be a key. Just a plain old key. Well, it's not like it takes up a lot of space. Can't wait to carry it around, eh? Yeah, I mean, but there's no, really no reason to drop it. Like, uh, it's not it's not like Resident Evil where any item, no matter the size, takes up a space. Screwdriver? What's this? There appears to be a plain screwdriver. And what's that? You found it near a disassembled radio, you say. Still, it's a rather large driver. I imagine with this, you'd be able to use it on even large screws, like those in furniture and appliances. Well, appraisal mole is very, very helpful. Okay, if I get any more items, I'll come. I'll have to remember where he is. Okay, you see where where I am on the map. He's there, in that... I'm the glowing spot. Information terminal. Oh, he said I could use... So 
said I could use the key card on these. It looks like there's a slot for a card or something. Alright. Specify the area I wish to examine on the screen. Your current location displayed in red. So Main Street is where I came from. Uh, one of these hallways, Naomi said she had a bad feeling about. Manager's quarters. Tunnel collecting underground capital with surface. Women's quarters. Citizens' quarters. Enlisted men's quarters. All right. Oh. Is there anything else? that I could look at here. Don't think there is. Oh, wait, hold on. Mechanized gate. Mechanized gate, which connects to neighboring northwest area. In times of emergency, the gate will be shut and locked to keep out invaders. Rest and relaxation center. Sounds good to me. Hospice. Contains the latest in medical technology to protect the lives of imperial citizens. That's not what a hospice is. Maybe they mean hospital. Information terminal. This is an information terminal. It can be accessed using your residence ID card to display information about the area it is located in. Right, I think that's everything now. Alright, some information about the uh, location we're in. No monsters so far. But there was that one area that Naomi said she had a bad feeling about. She said something horrible was down there. Oh, wait, we're back here. Maybe if we go down that hallway, a monster will start chasing us. Nothing here. Instead of having just like every inaccess every unimportant room have a broken door, they do let us go into a bunch of them and they just say, no, regular room, sorry, not interesting. Yeah, all these shutters are locked. Let's just fill in the map. Walk down here. Oh, hello. I didn't expect there'd be uh, someone here. Sure is busy today. What with everyone from the surface coming down here. And they've all been a little weird, you know. What I mean? Oh, that guy who was just here. One of my friends tried to talk to him. And all of a sudden he whipped out a gun and wahoo. Let me see. I think my friend said that the guy's name was Camilla. Hmm. People coming in here with guns and just popping. Just popping! I thought this was Japan, not America. This is another lock shutter. Is this the women's quarters? We got some graffiti. Can I look at it? No, it does not seem like we're acknowledging it. Uh, 
Oh, hello. There is a monster down here. But fortunately, we do have a loop. Is this a door? It's some. I can hear the breathing. Oh, it looks like he's actually in front of me. Hmm? I don't see him on the map anymore. Oh, no, there he is on the map. Um... Okay, it does look like that there is a door to this. Uh, that goes to the hospice, right? But it doesn't seem like I can open the hospice as of yet. Oh, wait, no. I did not try this one. Hospice. Operating table. It's a large operating table with leather restraints. There's something disturbing about this place. Examination table. Everything's covered with dust. Bundle of documents on the table. Can I read them? Apparently not. Sheaf of documents. Ink has faded over the years. Parts of the documents are still legible. Massive cave and during excavation of areas 13 to 15. Dozens of casualties. Several deaths among them. Extreme damage to much of our digging equipment. Autopsies have shown on casualties presence of diseased or mutated tissue of unknown composition and origin. This tissue bears a resemblance to fish scales. Except it is exceedingly resilient and possessed of a dim phosphorescence. In addition, the joints of the patients exhibit characteristics normally found only in arthropods. In light of these unusual discoveries, we request immediately assi immediate assistance and guidance from Central Command to... Uh, the rest is illegible. How curious. X-ray 3. What could this be an X-ray of? X-ray 2. Look at that bone structure. What was going on down here? 1. It's certainly not human. What could it be an X-ray of? I mean, we've seen a couple monsters so far. It seems like that's everything in here. One thing I'm wondering about... This game seems like it only has... ...auto-saving when you, like, finish an area. I don't... It doesn't seem like there's a manual save. Which is a problem since we've now activated the monster. I mean, the areas don't seem especially large, but... If it's really the case that you can't save until you finish an area, I can imagine that could get frustrating. And I see him. Um, I guess I want to actually go to where he is. Like, get through that hallway. Is he coming towards me or away? Yep, towards me. Real fast. Yep, heart's beaten. Hmm, I probably wanted to go down that first one. Well, did he chase me down here? Yeah, there he is. Pardon. Ah, tried to get around. I could not. Sorry about that, Naomi. Ooh. 
I do like the idea of our character just sort of holding up Naomi like a shield. Running forward, holding her in front of him. Like, her feet are not even touching the ground. He's just holding her up. I'm all alone now. Um, does not seem like it's acknowledging this. But that map we saw did say that this door was an exit to the next area. So, if we have to turn off the alert so the door opens, but how do we do that? Oh, hello. Who the hell's the idiots that's come and attack the mesh? All the shutters, they closed, and you can't get that anyway. You can't get anywhere. It's a bloody inconvenience, I tells you. Huh? So that's a nice little thing you got there. That there. I'm talking about your compass. Listen up, and let me tell you a little about the mesh, okay? This here where we at now is the southwest area, okay? There's three other different areas on this floor. Laid out clockwise, see? You got this one, then the northwest, northeast, and southeast areas, okay? See, the mesh is really big and confusing. It was designed that way. So if you want to go to another area, what you need to do is use a compass and head in that direction. In case you're slow, what that means is if you want to go to the northwest area, you should point your compass to the northwest. Got it? If you follow my instructions, you'll probably be able to get around okay. Thanks! I mean, the main problem is that the doors aren't opening. This door's opening. Central Square. Brawny Suge. Hey there, Brawny. You're new around here, ain't you? Well, you sure picked a fine time to come a visit in. See, right now the mesh is in anti-intruder security mode. That means all the shutters and barricades are down. And the traps, they've been activated. If you just goes for a little walk, minding your own business, ain't no doubt about it, you're likely to end up D-E-A-D, -E dead. Fortunately, you're in luck. I can tell you about the ups and downs of this here Tokyo mesh. At least, the bare minimum, you need to know to survive. First of all, the mesh is divided up into three main floors, alright? The floor you're on has this square, the bar. It's like a big city, see? The second floor is storage areas, a factory, even pens for livestock. Basically what you call production area, yeah? Except of course now, there's people living in the pens instead of cows, but uh, anyway. Then, there's the bottom floor. And to be honest, I even I don't really know what's down there. Come to think of it, I haven't had anyone that's come down there and come back to talk about it neither. Uh, just be sure to keep your ears and eyes open, and pay attention to what's going on around you, and you'll be okay. Or at least you probably won't get killed by anything, at least. Thanks, Brawny. What about Tower Door or Ice Sweeper Leno, and Crazy Hoshino, and Strange Sonoda? Let's talk to Sweeper Leno. Did those Holy Ring loonies chase you down here as well? What are they trying to do? I tell you, I've seen a lot of nuts in my day, but they take the prize. With what's going on out there, I doubt you'll be able to get through the central gate. There's a stairway in the northwest area. You might be able to use that to get back into the sewers. Of course, it could be just as bad there as it is here. Still, it's probably worth checking out. The stairs are in the northwestern corner of the northwest area. Yeah, but the door is locked. Thanks, Sweeper. What about Strange Sonoda? A wondrous ruin filled with grandiose mystery. That, my friend, is what this place, the Tokyo Mesh, is. It is a great dark Babylon, buried deep in the earth, built with the dreams and desire of countless greedy souls. Indeed, even now, one might encounter the spirit of an Imperial Army soldier anywhere within it. 
It's true. One appeared to me in my bed just this morning. He was ghastly, a face pale as the moon. Over and over, he kept telling me to find the important documents. But I have no idea what he's talking about. And then when I woke up, there was this strange object on my chest. What does he want me to do? What was the strange object, strange Sonoda? What? Well, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's go back in there. Do you want documents? I use the. I use them. What? You have the important documents the ghost wanted? I see now. He must have known you were coming and told me so I could tell you. It all makes sense. That would mean that this belongs to you. Here, take it. I'll make sure he gets these documents. I got the mechanized gate key. All right. And what about Crazy Hoshino? What, 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 what? Stairs? To get back to the surface? Huh? Are you serious? Why would you want to go back there? Down here, it's nice and dark and warm. There's no police meant to bother you. I mean, there's everything you could need down here, and there's never a dull moment. Just look what's happening right now. Could there be any place on the surface that's as wonderful and exciting as this? Why would you want to go back to that bright and noisy place up there anyway? What are you? Some kind of weirdo or something? He makes a good point. No cops down here. Tower door? It sounds like there's an opening or a cave on the other side. The wind's making a, making a hollow echoing sound. It looks like a door of some kind, but there's no handle. What could be on the other side? I have my regular key. I cannot use it here. And I doubt my mechanized gate key won't work. Will work. All right. Well, the mechanized gate key is seems pretty important. All right. I filled out this. I mean, if I want to fill out this part of the map, I guess I should go down here and run down the sides of these. I can't run down the sides of the hallways. The gap is not big enough. I mean, I, I, there's no real point in filling that out, is there? Probably not. Don't know what happens if I just keep running when my heart starts beating like that. Would, would it be a problem? Are there consequences to running too much? I have not been down here. I supposed to do now I'm all alone now no companion to talk to it's sad what's that could it be that thing again oh, I guess this is I guess this is the the intro cutscene for this guy Well, I mean, I could try to use my key on the door over here, my mechanized gate key. Because it sounded like this is where I need to go. Mm, no, it's not acknowledging anything. So where would I be able to use that mechanized key? Well, I mean, this guy is now out. Out and about. So I'll go down his hallway. Oh, I know that was a door. Can't go down there.
residential area. It's repeating in Inosuke. What's all the fuss about, eh? You think no one ever heard an air rain, air raid siren before? I tell you, kids today. So what do you want, eh? You came from the surface? Now you want to get back? Well now, well now, that's not going to be easy. As you might know, right now this here mesh is locked down. Security alert and all is going on, see? My memory serves me right, there's a stairway in the northwest area, but I don't know if you're going to be able to get there, what with the shutters down and all. I seem to recall hearing about a control room somewhere that can turn the security alarms on and off. Well, yes, that is of interest to us. Do you want a screwdriver? She does not. Yeah, we want to find a control room. And then use the northwest door. door is locked and cannot be opened. Don't even think about opening it. It cannot. Uh, Alright, so can't do anything down here. We need to find the control room. Just fill in this little bit part of the map. Hmm. So, what haven't we done? Feels like we filled in the parts of the map that we can. And did we see like a we did did we see a control room? Well, we found the information terminal. But it didn't seem like the information terminal had a... It didn't seem like it made us... Let us do anything. It just let us see the map and see some details about it. But not actually let us turn off the alarm. The hospice didn't have anything. I mean, it had some files, some x-rays, but it didn't have, like, any controlling things. Um, we, we were able to give the documents to that one guy, and we got the... Well, that's right, I can't access my inventory from here. I have to be in a room to do that. I got a gate key, but what can what can I use that on? What door? When I'm walking around in the hallway, if I have the right key, I'll just automatically use it. <clears throat> I guess I could go to the the mole. Ask the mole. What, um, what that key does. I think he was up here. No, actually, one more over. It's in one of these rooms, I think. Yeah, here he is. Well, 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 you also have a mechanized gate key. Those aren't easy to come by, you know? With this, you can open any of the mechanized gates in the mesh. Any of them, huh? I feel like I've walked up to some of the large doors and nothing's happened. When we say gates, it, like, is this a gate? Apparently not. It's solidly locked. So maybe that's not a gate. But if that is not, then what is... What counts as a gate. The northwest one, it doesn't let us interact with. So that is not a gate. And they're just regular doors. 
but those are not gates. Uh, let's see. I think we could talk to the guy we got the documents from. See if he has anything he wants to say. I think the was it the enlisted men's quarters were over on the west. Is this a gate? Like it doesn't let me acknowledge whatever this is. Like it doesn't show up on the map as anything. Okay, that's all he has to say. I don't suppose you want this. It can't be used here? No. And it was also mentioned that there is a control room somewhere. That we could use to unlock everything. But I don't know what that is. Like, the only thing that maybe resembles a control room would be that one information room that we got to before. But I don't think there was anything else we needed. It didn't seem like there was anything else in that room. Unless I missed something, but I don't think there was. I don't think there was. I, I guess we could... We could go back. Actually, actually, where was that room? We'd have to find that again. Oh, the, okay, this is that room. Yeah, the information terminal is the only thing that's here. Yeah, I, I doubt I can... I doubt I can use the gate key. No. We can use the iron card to, to interact with this. But was there anything else we could do? Okay, yeah, it defines that as the mechanized gate. It's the only thing here that they stay that they say is a gate. They call it the mechanized gate. I have the mechanized gate key. It sounds like it's saying I have the key for that, that door. And that's not what I want. I wanted to go back out. And that door is the, I think, where we get into the next area. But... I'm all alone now. If you're wondering why I keep saying that, is I occasionally press the button to talk to Naomi, accidentally. But she's not here. Um, so... Maybe I'm not standing in the right position to interact with door? With mechanized gate? Oh, I hear the boy. There he is. I try to give him the slip, except uh, my heart's going. Let's head up here. Having a heart attack. My my cardio is terrible. All right, so is he coming up here? Got to listen for his breathing. Well, okay. <laughs> he was just running. He was running that whole time. Game over. Well, I guess it's for the best, because would we have wanted to continue on with Naomi anyway? Like, obviously, we need Naomi to be here to have someone to talk to. Um, and to be our meat shield in times of need. We can't just lose our, our precious shield. Naomi, your precious shield. Well, that's been our hour tryout of Hell Knight. I think it's interesting. Um, you know, PS1 era horror games do have a certain thing about them that modern horror games just don't have. Just like a... There's a certain, you know, vagueness, a certain weirdness, which is neat. 
And Hell Knight does seem to have that. Um, it has a nice atmosphere as we're walking down these hallways with not much sound happening. With the occasional monster that just runs up on your ass. Um, and you can survive one hit if you're willing to sacrifice your friend. Are you? Seems to be the idea here. Well, I feel like we were, you know, I feel like we were just about able to exit that area. I had the mechanized gate key, and we know the mechanized gate was in the northwest. Like maybe it's just an interface thing? Like an interface problem that I was having that I wasn't able to open it? Because I feel like that... I feel like we had what we needed, but it wasn't happening for some reason. Well, yeah, Naomi. Our precious shield. Well... That's it for now for Hell Knight. What is happening in the world of Hell Knight where there is the un the secret underground Tokyo and also there's bio monsters? I don't know. But like I said, I'm sure the story will all come together.